Hi everybody, this is Marav from iJoomla and today I'm going to teach you how to download and install Jom Social. So the first thing you want to do is go to jomsocial.com after you've purchased it already and then click login login to the site and then click on top my account and here I can see my purchase and I can just click on the download Jom Social. Okay, now that I've downloaded it, I have a file called com community pro unzip first. Okay, so it tells us, it's telling us to unzip it first. So let's do that. We just click extract. Careful, click extract and then choose the folder where you want to extract it to. Now let's see how it looks like. Now we have three more files. One, one of them says com community pro. I think that's the component itself. And then we have unzip first module and apps unzip first. So let's unzip those first. Click extract again, choose the folder again, and now let's take a look and see what happens. Now we can see that a bunch of new files were added here, but this is kind of messy and I like to keep things organized. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it modules. And I'm going to place all the files that are called mod, that start with mod, right inside the modules. Okay, now let's do the same thing with apps. Let's unzip it. It says unzip first. Extract. Video files. Extract. And again, let's see what happens. Again, we have a huge list of uh, apps or plugins, and we need to organize them. This will be very, very useful later. So we're going to copy all the files that start with PLG. This is for plugin. We're going to place them inside the apps folder. OK, now this is looking a little better. Now let's get rid of all the files that has unzip me first. So we are staying with all the only files that are ready to be installed. OK, so now that we have all the files that we need to install, let's Let's just get to work. We're going to click on extensions, install, uninstall, browse. We're going to start with the components. That is really the only thing you must install. The modules, the plugins are all optional. It says complete your installation, so let's click on this button. Next, next, next. We're just going to click on the next until everything is done. And you can see on the left that the steps are, it looks like it's making progress. This is telling you basically how much time you have left, so now zero, that means you can continue. Okay, it also looks like it's doing it by itself, so you might not have to click on this button like I did, uh, unless you have a problem. Okay, so now it says installation complete. Please upgrade your modules and plugin. Too important, before you begin, you might take a look at the following documentation. Okay. So, let's see, how do we get out of this? See what happens when you click next. 
All right, that's great. Now it's taking us directly to the John social interface. Now let's install some of the modules. Like I said, we don't have to install all the modules. In fact, I recommend you don't install all of them at all. Just start with the one you think you're going to be using. So see how useful it is that we organize everything like that? Oops, this is the apps. Let's go back and click the modules. Okay, so what do we have here? Active groups, activity stream, hello me, jump social connect, latest discussion, latest group walls, latest members, online users, photo comments, statistics, top members, and void, uh, video comments. Okay, this is starting to look pretty clear. I, I think uh, we're going to choose, we're going to start with online users. That's for sure is something you're going to want to show. Who is online right now? It's very important in any community so that people can see and interact with people who are online. I think top members is also important. Latest member is important. It's basically showing you the people who recently joined. That's important so that uh, your community site looks fresh, so that you, every time people go, they will see new faces there. It doesn't look stale, you know. And activity stream is also very important. Now you can add the rest of them later, as you see fit. Uh, you're gonna start using it, you're gonna say, okay, I want this, I want that, and you add as you go. Now let's check the plugins. Install, uninstall, or you can just stay here again. And this time we're gonna choose the plugin or the apps folder. Here we go. Now there's a really, really long list here. And again, you need to kind of think about what do you want from here? Are you integrating with Fireboard or with uh, my blog, a nice talk, all these different extensions, or with Twitter? How do you want it to, whatever you want, just choose the ones, the features that you want. Uh, I think right now the most important one is the walls. So I'm just going to upload this one for now. And later we will add more stuff. Okay, so this is it for how to download and install John Social. Thanks for watching. This is Mirav from Ajuna.